Hey everybody, welcome to the Dad Challenge Podcast. My name is Josh, thanks for joining me today. Well, we're just gonna do the update on the Ruby Frankie hearing with Jody. And as I was finishing my live and re-uploading it, I guess Lawn Crime went live with the, did some interviews with some people outside. And um, I'm, hopefully I'm not gonna get copyright strike for covering this, but uh, this guy had some stuff to say and we gotta cover it because it's really, really, really important. Um, so let's get to it. So if you're just joining us now, Ruby and Jody basically got the minimum you could possibly get. So they agreed to this thing where they said, we're gonna get one to 15 years per count. The judge is like, well, that's what you're gonna get. And so it was all just this big, yeah, maybe we get it. And we did some math on it. Basically, there's an article writing about how the math of this works. And it's basically on the parole board to tell, to, to do the sentencing. So in three and a half years or even less, they're gonna get up for parole based on time served and they're gonna be able to get out probably. And that's probably exactly what's gonna happen. But I don't think that Jody's gonna get out. And based on this interview here we're about to watch, I haven't even seen it yet. Just so many people messaged me after my live. We got to talk about this. So let's get into it. Hi there. Okay, we've got another interview. Do you guys want to know who Jody Hildebrand is? <laughs> this guy came in guns blazing. Here, I'll, I'll answer your questions. He's her attorney. He can't answer them. My name's Adam Paul Steed. And if you guys want to know who Jody Hildebrand is, I'll, I'll answer tons of questions about her. I know my dad. Hey, dad, come here. Oh, wow, this guy is like... I think because I think he did an interview it was like a super long podcast that got redacted from the internet, probably because he was being threatened to be sued or the person that posted it was threatening to be sued. And so it got redacted. And so now he's like, let's do this. Come, come here, come here. My dad has a file at home that's probably about 2,500 pages of records from court filings and, and just huge amount of documentation about Jody Hildebrand that's, that we will share with everybody. I want you to know the same court that uh, has ordered us not to share these documents is, is covering up this racket that Jody Hildebrand had with the more the court and just and just so you guys are aware I asked if the judge that was presiding over this case is Mormon yes the judge that's presiding over this case is Mormon and went to BI BYU now it's going to be honest to figure out who the parole board is. I don't know if you're allowed to find that out but they're likely going to be Mormon too that's a major conflict of interest. This judge should have recused himself and found a judge that wasn't religious in the Mormon faith. This is crazy. So the judge is telling him he's not allowed to share these documents. Why? Why not? Mormon Church in the 4th District, Utah County Court. She abused my children in the same way, almost. Even in a different type of abuse, it's, I think it's, it could be argued worse. Holy smokes! And that was 15 years ago. And I, I fought against Jody Hildebrandt with my family and everybody to stop this monster of a lady. 15 years ago, he fought and didn't win. And then she got to do it again. So imagine she hadn't got caught this time. She would have done it and done it and done it. And probably likely there are more victims out there that won't speak up because of the shame or the pressure from the Mormon church to not speak up. That's what's going on here, right, guys? This is a major cover-up of somebody who worked under the Mormon church, who was referred to by the Mormon church, who had all these things against her 15 years ago, and the Mormon church still put her in front of people who were Mormons. This is crazy, and it's like, I don't know what else to say. This is a cover-up. That's what this is. And Jody went after me. She went after me, destroyed my life in the craziest way you could ever think of possible. Like, I was a victim of sexual wow. abuse at Boy Scouts of America, Camp Little M. High in Idaho. And my dad helped us stop a predator. You can watch, read it in the national press and everything. We changed the laws of sexual abuse wow. so victims could come forward. We got rid of the criminal and civil statute limitations. The Mormon Church knew who we were. And Elder Helam, Richard G. Helam, was like next, he was the president of the first quorum of the 70, the top probably executive functioning leader of the whole Mormon church. And he sat with Jody Hildebrandt as they destroyed my life in this court racket. Are you talking about the quorum of the 70 or the quorum of seven? I forget what he said there, but the quorum of the whatever it is, is this big high upper echelon of leadership inside the Mormon church, which by the way, is not biblical at all. The Mormon church is a cult, everybody. It is nothing to do with Christianity or Jesus. The Mormon church is complicit in so many crimes. And so is the Christian church. Don't get me wrong. So is the Catholic church. So are so many churches. But the Mormon church specifically 
is one of the most corrupt, disgusting institutions in the world. It is a cult. And those of you who serve the Mormon church, those of you who believe what they are fed to you, if you honestly believe in the Bible, if you do, if you honestly believe anything that the Bible says, and you likely say you do, you're not going to enter the kingdom of heaven based on what you believe over here. Do you understand that? Repent and trust in Jesus only. The Mormon church has a lot to answer for. And these upper echelons, these, these, these rich ass, powerful people, just like Joel Osteen, just like Benny Hinn, all these people, it only serves as a grift to make people money and more power. That's all it is. It, like they've destroyed countless other people's lives and they even had the gall to order my Mormon stories thing where I brought some documentation off the internet saying that they didn't want me to say bad things to my children or in front of the children about my ex-wife. Well, if you're accused of sexual abuse by Jody Hildebrand and if your ex-wife performed so a, Jody accused him. A, a falsification of sexual abuse, the professionals looked at the documentation and said, so if you're not hearing what he's saying, catch, catch this. Jody was had a history of isolating couples, breaking them up, and taking with the and going with the women. And we, in, in in some cases, it's conjecture that she was in with relationship with these women. And this is something that's been proven. She lost her license because of it, or had it suspended. She's there's proof that she's done this to multiple people. We know that she's a disgusting piece of trash who abuses children and does these things that she did to Ruby's kids too. We know the type of person she is. And so you think it's such a far-fetched idea that she's she's coaching these women to create these allegations against these men? This guy clearly is standing here free from that because he fought it. That Think about that for a second. Holy cow! This is sexual abuse. This is sexual abuse. We have documentation for sexual abuse of my children by Jody Hildebrandt and my ex-wife. And... You know, this stuff was uh, redacted in the Doppel paperwork. It was so horrible that it was redacted. Wow. And the courts just recently said, I couldn't talk about my family and my ex-wife or anything, but if you had children... Why? Children, if your children were trained to think that your dad was sexual and predator and a monster... So, so can, I'm sorry, we, we came in a little bit late. Why is it that you wanted to be here? Okay, so there are tons and it's not Joe... Joe this guy's got like two minutes to get everything he needs to get out because he keeps getting taken off the internet and he's got to tell it. And they're like, okay, well, Skip, we don't care about that. Let's get to this. Oh, that's frustrating. What he held the is the tip of the iceberg. The Mormon church was doing this operation where they were using religious beliefs and they were using ethical therapists to enforce them and it was an area of exploitation and it was a horrific area, it was exploitation because it created horrible divorces that should have been normal divorces. We're talking about hundreds and thousands of families going wow. through these courts and Jody was like an icon, her doctor. Okay, so here's the problem. And if you don't believe him, what makes you not believe him? Jody lived in a $5 million mansion. You don't believe him? Just look at how lavishly she was living. You don't believe him? I believe him. I'm sorry. After what we know about Jody and what she's done anyway, who are you going to believe? Her or him? The Mormon church or him? The Mormon church is corrupt, everybody. Those of you out there who follow me, who like want to go to bat for the Mormon church, shame on you. After all the things we have learned about the Mormon church and all the crap that they've ever done and all the money they hoard and everything else and the hurt that they cause families, why would you follow a religion like that? What is wrong with you? Ruby. It sounds like it was a little bit of like justice for you too. Oh, Jody, yeah, Ruby, Ruby Frank. When I saw Ruby Frank, I saw my ex-wife sitting there saying the exact same thing. That my, my ex-wife would have said the exact same thing Ruby Frankie said today. And a lot of other women would have said the same thing. You have no idea how many victims are out there that... I don't care. Ruby Frankie took it a little bit too far though and let Jody do this to her children. Ruby Frankie is guilty. So I understand what he's saying, that Jody clearly has some abilities to do this and it's like something that she gets off on, but that's crazy. They're, 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 their minds have been messed up so much with this. Uh, the, the, the prosecutor said that, um, he said that the children uh, thought it was their fault. All of the adult men think it's their fault. All of the women think it's their fault. I have had countless emails and messages. Sorry, what was your name? I'm Adam Paul Steed. I was, I'm the guy that got Jody's license from Doppel removed. Well, wow. my dad and mom get the credit. But uh, 
you know, and, and, and they said that the Doppel department said we have evidence here for criminal charges against Jody. Don't forget what Jody did, right? She would take this private stuff that's meant to be doctor patient privilege or whatever you call it, not supposed to be telling anybody, and she would go to their bishops. Do you know that bishops have so much power over people? That's not, if you're Mormon, <laughs> how do you believe any of this crap? There's nothing like that in the Bible ever that exists where a bishop has power over to tell you things. Do you know how many bishops in the Mormon church have probably stopped people from whistleblowing on what actually happened to them because it makes the Mormon church look bad? I've been watching Handmaid's Tale and I'm like, it just screams Mormon church to me. I know that's such a weird thing to say, but that's what I see. It's so cultish. It's so weird and that people fall into it. It's so crazy to me. This is 13 years ago. It's identical stuff. So I almost like fell over in the courtroom when I heard Jody say that she loved those children. Yeah. Jody doesn't love children. Jody's like Ted Bundy. In fact, one time I was in a... In a, in a Do you feel that she should have a longer sentence than... Jo Jody, here's the problem. Somebody hits a person and runs. That's like two variables, a car and someone running. They catch them. Jody's got like 30 variables, including a huge issue with the Mormon church racketing. I mean, they're yep. all ducking low and covering. In fact, I looked at an email, and I can show this to you guys. This is factual evidence where the, the it should have been a neutral person in the courts, Kelly, uh, Kelly Peterson, the guardian at Lydon, when they were punishing me in the family custody courts, he said that my act to turn Jody Hildebrandt in was an act of vengeance, and they took my kids away from me. Wow. Holy. Performed an act of vengeance. He just said that she's like Ted Bundy and they didn't let him continue. What do you mean? What do you mean? It's, that's in the, this court was sitting there completely in bed with Jody. They've done, I talked to Doug Thayer's daughter. She saw relations, I mean, these aggressive attorneys working with Jody, Commissioner Patton. These, all these people know about Jody. The BYU Honor Code office did a, before the. If you don't know what a BYU Honor Code is, by the way, it's just basically a place where you can go tell on people for sinning. I'm not joking. The Mormon church doesn't, I don't think they believe this. Maybe they do, but it's not like you could just go to God and get your sins forgiven. Like you go tell on somebody and they get removed from school. Like you can, like there's punishments for them on earth. Like it's all, it's, there's an honor code society where you can go rat on your neighbor for, for what you think is a sin. Oh my gosh. They kicked me out of school for being a whistleblower and child abuse, I guess. Jody Hildebrandt went there and, and told them I was the most dangerous man she'd ever met in her lifetime. To you, she was. And that's good because you still are. And thank God you were. She, she has, we have hundreds of pages of this stuff of Jody Hildebrandt working with top church leaders to dispel me. I got kicked out of school my senior year. The, this lady, uh, we've got all this documentation of how she talks, how she walks. Now, here's what I do want to say. I don't like Ruby Frankie, but I don't know her. None of us do. I just think none of us like her. You have to be a selfish person to fall for Jody's stuff. You, you got she's got a certain kind of carrot that gets certain kind of people. But Ruby Frankie would have never done any of this stuff if Jody Hildebrandt hadn't been the mastermind and just completely, completely created this. I mean, to the point of the abuse, possibly, but no, let's not forget that Ruby Frankie was a child exploiter from day one. Like these kids, a lot of these kids were born on the internet. They were exploited the, most of their lives. They were abused. There was abuse there. Like not feeding them, treating them like garbage. Like there's so much evidence of her abuse aside from this. So she's not innocent. Like they, I, I know this guy doesn't know that, but let's be real. Ruby Frankie's not dangerous in the sense she's not going to go out and do this to more kids. But Jody Hildebrandt will. When we put, her, when we went to Doppel and we, we went to Doppel. Doppel ordered her to go through all this ethical stuff. She went through the whole thing with shining colors and she turned around and did the same stuff again. Mm -hmm. I mean, even when she was teaching us that we were safe to come to her and stuff, she was she was abusing children at the same time with one hand and, and, do, and teaching a godliness with another hand. What's her motivation? Uh, Jody Hildebrandt had a weird relationship with my ex-wife. It was a dual relationship. It, you hearing that? It was bordering sexual in nature. I mean, it, she went through different women that made her look powerful and important. My ex-wife's dad was at Area 70 in the Mormon church. And Jody Hildebrandt wanted uh, power and, and, but I know her instincts. When you're in a pain and suffering, when you talk about something and she finds a way to hurt you, 
it makes her blush. It makes her feel euphoric. I've seen her act that way and look that way. So he's what he's saying there, don't miss this, is that when she does something that hurts somebody, it makes her flush and blush. It's like it's giving her immense pleasure to do it. He's seen it. Guys, that's a psychopath right there. And this woman is likely going to get out of prison in three years. <laughs> oh my gosh. In the worst of circumstances. So I always compare Jody Hildebrand to Ted Bundy because nobody can figure out why a serial killer would kill people. Jody Hildebrand, she she grows off of people's pain and destruction. And when she sat there and said she loved those kids, I almost fell out of my chair. Unbelievable. Like I hope parole Boris here and it's good. When the judge is Mormon, when every leader of the parole board is likely Mormon, and they live and they they have to live their lives underneath of a bishop, because that judge, if he's a card carrying Mormon, if he's got his if he's got his pass and he's done the secret handshakes and won the frickin' and he's worn the Chef Boyardee hat and done all the secret society stuff, and likely he has, if he's got his temple re temple recommend, that judge might be a judge over this, you know, over his whatever his jurisdiction. But that judge is also judged by his bishop and sits under his bishop and under leadership of the Mormon church, everybody. If you are a person that has a temple recommend, you should recuse yourself of anything that comes close to being a part of the church at all. And the thing is, is that the friggin' prosecutor, they're all good with this. Their lawyers, you know, that Jody and Ruby just walked away smirking because they just got away with it. That's crazy, everybody. That's what this guy is telling you. These people are under the Mormon church. They're not above it. The only thing she, her, her version of loving children is find a way to make them hurt more than anything possible. It's like an energy. And that's, you can't, you think he's wrong? Because we have evidence that she did do that. Up to and including the point of like starvation and like, and torture. She did these things and admitted it, said she was guilty of them. Energy she feeds off of. You're on track. Thank you so much, Adam. Yeah. Sorry, I didn't. It's a little traumatic for me, so if I monologue, I'm sorry. Does anybody have a question? That... Cover a lot. Covered a lot. Okay, covered a lot. This, this, this. He's got all his documentation, but apparently he's being stymied from putting it out in the internet. Why? Man, the, the power the Mormon church has, everybody. No uh, no religious institution should have that kind of... And you know, the only other one I can think of is the Catholic church with the Pope and what they own. Like, the power religious institutions have over politics and people should never, ever, ever, ever be a thing. It's literally what Jesus fought against. He flipped the tables in the temple for this type of thing. Jesus would not be okay with the state of the church in any way. Catholic, Christian, Mormon, doesn't matter. Scientology, none of it. None of it is what it was meant to be. None of it. The money, the corruption, the, the, the victim blaming, the, the rights taken away. It's unbelievable. And there's millions of people that fall under it and believe in it. Man. It's not going to be a flood. It's going to be an asteroid. Now let's let's send it. Like I'm ready. Those, that fourth district court's got to be ducking their heads right now because uh, I do want to say something. He's there's, taking there, the mic. There's countless children out there that have been raised to believe their fathers are predators because of Jody Hildebrandt. And the fourth district court and other courts involved don't want to show they made mistakes. So who's going to help those children? That's crazy. Like who's going to help them? Like this, this is a, a court public opinion. People need to find out the truth to go help all these children. I feel like this guy knows a lot, and I'd love to have him on the show. Adam, if you're watching this, for whatever reason, please reach out to me. Come on the show. You talk to me about this Mormon church cover-up stuff. Talk to me about it. I'm happy to have you on the show. And then help all these people come forward. And the fact that the court tried to silence me for being on the front edge of coming forward is just an example of how the same notorious people in power back then that allowed Jody to do all this stuff are alive and thriving today. And if you give a damn about our children, you got to do the same thing I do and fight for what's true. Yeah, I love this guy. Yes. Thank you so much, Adam. So, I mean, look at the ramifications of what that guy just said. That's really, really, really important what he's doing. Adam, like, I know that you went on and did hours and hours of a podcast, but I'm happy to like get, help get your message out there. Whether like I'll edit your videos for you if you want to start your own YouTube channel to whistleblow in the Mormon church and what they've been doing. You got to do it, buddy. You got to do it.
you, you, I, you know that you're standing up for these kids. You just said the thing that we all needed to hear. What about those kids are the victims that don't have a voice? At least this guy's out here using these opportunities and he should be. That's great for him. Oh yeah, whatever it takes, Adam, I'll help you. But this guy just whistle blew in something that's absolutely massive. Mormon church doesn't want you to know how complicit they are in the Jody Hildebrand side of this thing. The lawyer is likely Mormon. The judge is Mormon. Okay, the prosecutor is probably Mormon. The friggin' the parole board, likely Mormon. There's no church that should have this kind of power. And the lawmakers need to step in at this point in Utah that aren't Mormon and start changing this law. Recuse yourself if you believe in the Mormon church and you are and you are like trying to judge, put judgment over people who are card carrying members of the Mormon church too. That doesn't even, it's like the boys club. It doesn't even make sense that they'd be allowed to. Good for you, Adam. Thanks for speaking out, guys. That's what's going on with this case. We're going to cover this. And if Adam needs help, I'm here. You let me know, buddy. I'm absolutely here to help you. Guys, thanks for being a part of this conversation. It's really important. Take a deep breath. You're going to need it. If you are a Mormon, honestly, how? How could you know all the things that we know about all the corruption inside of this church and still believe? What is wrong with you? Are you not smart? Do you have a brain in your head? And I'm not saying that to be rude. Well, sort of, but not really. I'm, not, I'm honestly asking you. Of all the corruption we know about, of how this thing started and where it is now, how, what is wrong with you? Grow a brain. Leave the Mormon church. It's toxic, disgusting cancer. Jeez. But you're not. You're amazing, incredible, and valuable. Don't you forget it. And I'll see you when I see you.